Greetings, and thank you for watching this video. My name is Robert McWilliams, and this video is going to be about my visit to the Jackson State University Library. I had opportunity to attend a technology conference um, for minority-serving institutions uh, at the Jackson State University on November 1st, 2022. I want to give a special thanks um, to Dr. Janice Franklin, who alerted me and made me aware of this conference. Uh, she is the dean of the Levi Watkins Learning Center or University Library at the Alabama State University. I also want to give thanks even also um, to Dr. Natasha Jenkins, administrator at the LWLC for giving me opportunity to attend. So I'm going to kind of show you um, pictures and just kind of give you commentary. I was very impressed um, at the library there at Jackson State University and uh, a lot of the innovations that you're going to see uh, were uh, of course in conjunction with the uh, library director at, at JSU but also Dr. Deborah Dent uh, who is um, the IT or CIO for Jackson State? A lot of there was a lot of technology innovations that I was just really impressed by. So we'll go into it as we proceed. So this is the entrance of the HT Sampson Library uh, there at JSU. Uh, there's three water fountains actually in the uh, entrance uh, as you prepare to walk in. Uh, if you notice, the water fountains are actually slightly pink, uh, and that is not a JSU color. And so I asked uh, the library personnel why were they pink, and they were actually were pink uh, in honor of uh, Breast Cancer Awareness uh, Month, where it first, so they didn't have opportunity to change the water out as of yet. But very impressive, uh, very beautiful. Uh, of course, this is my library selfie. If you know, if you follow my website, you know that is something that. Um, this is some decor that's on the outside of the library. Uh, of course, it's fall, so of course the decor was matching that. Uh, here's a outline of what's available at the HD Sampson Library uh, from floors one through five. Um, so very impressive to walk in and see, of course, their uh, map of where everything is located. Um, like many university libraries, the JSU Library has a Starbucks uh, as part of the library. They have it's connected directly to the to the library, and of course, students can enjoy beverages and snacks. Very beautiful. I, I just really was impressed with the design, the architecture. It was just very inviting. This is kind of wrapped beyond the entrance door, um, so very beautiful. Something that I've never seen before, but I was very impressed with. On every floor uh, of the library, there was Zoom stations. And these Zoom stations, in essence, consist of a to two to five computers. Um, they was kind of open in the sense not password protected, but each computer had a webcam and headphones available. And so when COVID had hit and when there was a lot of Zoom classes going on, uh, some students who did not have access to a laptop or you know, a device to, to access Zoom, their classes in Zoom, they could conveniently go to the library and of course utilize the, the Zoom station. So I thought this was very, very innovative. This is um, one of the labs. This is actually a gaming lab. So JSU actually has a Black Collegiate Gaming Association. So they actually have um, where they actually compete with other universities and colleges uh, on uh, uh, esports, so I, I thought that was kind of interesting. So this lab is dedicated to to those who are a part of that. Um, that lab is a part of the Center for Innovation, which again is part of the JSU Library. Again, this is just kind of some of the uh, the stairwell. I, I found that very beautiful. This is actually a picture of the VR lab. Um, so virtual reality, there were uh, lots of, uh, I'm guessing maybe anywhere from, I don't know, 15 or so computers 
that was available for virtual reality. So uh, it was open for students to do well, the educational or, um, you know, entertainment type applications for VR. Also next to that, um, there was a lab for 3D printing. So they had, I, I think I counted probably 15 or 17 3D printers uh, of various sizes. And so um, this lab is manned by student workers and uh, was very impressed by their knowledge uh, and, and, and just the, the expertise. Um, so they was very well versed on, you know, how each machine operates. As you can see, some of them was really small and, and some of them, you know, were, were, were fairly large. So, um, very impressed with their, uh, lab that they had, you know, so many devices that was available to their students. This is just some touch screen, um, presenting, um, tools that was available to, to students of the library. Uh, this is kind of a cross view of the gaming lab uh, of the VR lab and then behind me would be the 3D lab and this is all housed in the Center for Innovation. I thought this was very uh, interesting. Um, this is actually the, uh, these was planned, the TV screens that had like a video, I guess you could say a promo of the library, of the JSU library. Pictured here is the interim dean of libraries, um, Dr. Wilson, um, but the video would was circulating through, uh, um, and so it kind of gave an overview of the various resources that was available in the library. Of course, there was start charging stations throughout the library. Uh, of course, this is very, you know, pertinent in today's time of mobile devices. You from, I believe, the third floor, third or fourth floor, some artwork in the library. And this is where, uh, the, the conference that I was with, this is where the students was giving us an official tour. And I had actually snuck away <laughs> to, 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 to tour the library, not knowing that there was a scheduled tour uh, for us to tour the library. But again, um, this is one of the student workers. Uh, and it was just very, I, again, I was very impressed with their knowledge. They was just spot on uh, and very knowledgeable of, of the resources that was available and, and of the equipment that was um available and how to, to utilize it. And JSU is part of the Black Collegiate Gaming Association. And this is a student just explaining the 3D printers. Uh, this is a student, uh, it's actually a graduate. This this guy, when I had opportunity to speak with him, uh, he actually graduated, actually has his own production company, but uh, he actually uh, designs clothing uh, he's in partnership or contract with JSU for designing clothing for their, uh, uh, apparel company there that the, the on campus uh, bookstore. So they actually sell some of the, his items that he's designed. So he's a graduate of JSU, but he still kind of utilizes uh, the lab for, for, uh, various purposes or whatnot. Um, this is also part of the library at JSU. This is a studio and this studio can be used for, uh, Student access, of course, for any type of projects that they may um, design or develop, whether for their class or whether perhaps for an interview purposes. Um, I was very impressed with this picture here is Dr. Den, uh, who is the CIO at, at JSU. Again, she's kind of the visionary for all of the technology uh, innovations that's at, at the library, or at least part of the, of the, the visionaries of, of implementing uh, the various technologies there. Um, it's a selfie of me in there. Um, uh, so it could do music production. You have the multiple screens to do, uh, video production. So I, I was very impressed with this being a, a inclination to multimedia development. So there was also a wood printer. Uh, it's a 3D printer that actually prints on wood. So you can see some of the, the items that was developed. Um, airplane. Helicopter, uh, and again, all of this is available for students who are engaging in the VR equipment. This is actually a digital, well, it's a hand sanitizer, but it has a digital screen at the moment. Uh, I think it was being reloaded or whatever the case, but normally speaking, it floats with different advertisements, updates of what's going on in the library or on campus and students, of course, can you know, insert their hands to access the sanitizer. I thought that was very, very innovative way to, to dispense information. Then stay sanitized. 
Of course, this is myself checking out the VR equipment. Uh, again, I, I really enjoyed it, and uh, I'm gonna show you a video. <laughs> <laughs> so I was actually doing a tour of a city, which was again very, very impressive. I was very impressed with the the VR technology there. Uh, showing you another video as well, and this was just kind of a sweeping view of the lab, Center for Innovation, gaming lab there. VR lab here, and then of course the 3D printers, as you can see, quite a number of those. The wide format printer available also in the library, um, able to print flyers, uh, brochures, banners. Um, this is some artwork that was developed, I believe, by students. I think they helped design that. Um, this was in the corner in the center of innovation. So again, very, very, very impressive. Also, this is something not high tech, but I thought this was very uh, inspiring. The library elevator door had, um, instead of just static elevator doors, it had students uh, engaging in technology and, of course, students graduating here. So uh, I thought that was very impressive because it kind of reminds that should remind students that the purpose of them being there is, of course, to get to the end, to graduate. Uh, I also thought this was very impressive as well. This was not actually inside the library, but it was in the student center, the Dress for Success. I, I just really thought this was pretty impressive, um, just kind of uh, outlining how to be professionally dressed. Uh, I think students today are definitely need to be, you know, aware of what's 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 going on now? Uh, on in, as it relates to professional. That is it. I just wanted to show you one final video of the beginning of the entrance of the library. And in essence, this is it. My tour of the H T Sampson Library at JSU. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Thank you for watching, and God bless.